Is Condola gonna have a baby shower on the show? And is Tiffany gonna put it together? Is she gonna be at the baby shower like Condola was at Tiffany's baby shower? It's a mess. Ooh wee! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just Tefra with another insecure review. Um, I know it's been a while, but this season finale, I feel like I need to say something. Honestly, we saw we saw the whole Molly and Andrew breaking up situation coming. That was honestly very self-explanatory. She kind of self-sabotaged that relationship. There's not really much to say. I think Andrew did the right thing. So moving on from that situation. Um, I honestly feel like the whole situation with Tiffany like running off, doing her thing and disappearing, turn the phone off and like being caught on hidden cameras and all that kind of stuff. I think that whole situation, that whole scene really brought some personification to Tiffany's character because we kind of only saw her as a caricature of like someone who's bougie and don't care or whatever. But she was really going through some stuff and I feel like postpartum depression is not really something that is discussed a lot. I mean, I, I know people um, converse about it on their own, but I don't think it's like a very public, um, like do they have forums? Do they have like groups and stuff like that? Like, I don't think that postpartum depression is something that is talked about a lot. And so I was happy to see how Insecure like put that in there and really showcase like some of the trauma that women experience even after childbirth. It's, it's not even like, like literally having a child is difficult and Lawrence is gonna get, he's gonna see how that feels, but we're gonna get to him in a minute. I just wanted to like give Derek his roses and his flowers right now while he's still alive on this show. His character is still relevant because honestly, he's one of the MVPs of the whole season. Fight with your mama. Because I honestly feel like Derek, when he uh, when he found Tiffany, he ain't go off on her. He ain't talk about, oh, you had me worry, you had me worry sick. Where were you? What? He didn't come with a whole bunch of questions. What he came with was love, patience, and and and, and just the physical touch. Just gave her a hug. And I think a lot of people, some people's opinions about Tiffany was like, they were saying she was doing the most, she was wrong, she was this, she was that. But I feel like, yo, when you depressed, you don't act like your normal stuff. You don't do normal things. You are literally a toxic to yourself. You, you are negative to yourself. And the, the decisions that you make are usually gonna be negative choices or you're gonna do things that are very selfish that like the average person wouldn't do but i think derrick handled it so well like he's literally a good friend he's always giving good advice to mr goofy lawrence um he's a good husband he's a great father he's just an overall good character him and kelly like get mvp of this of the show of the season of all that because even when Derek was stressing about Tiffany, Kelly was the first one to be like, yo, I'm coming with you. And and then that's when Issa and Molly said something. But I feel like if Kelly didn't say nothing, I don't think Molly and Issa would have made that same effort. That's just my personal opinion. I think Kelly really like really showed that like, yo, that's my friend. Like that's my real true friend. Like I'm gonna drop everything I'm doing to find her. She even tried to almost fight with somebody over Tiffany. So I said, okay, Kelly, Kelly is a good friend. She's a real friend. So she gets an MVP award too on this season as well, along with Derek. Moving on. Should we talk about Nathan? I don't really want to talk about Nathan. I mean, his character is all right. He, he's a good friend to Issa, but I think he's going to try to like cross barriers after a while, maybe boundaries, you know. I don't know. Moving on to Mr. Goofy. Oh, yo. And Mrs. Goofy. Oh, yo. Okay. That's Lawrence and Issa. Okay. I only say that. I only say Issa is a Goofy. 
because I've been told that girl to not go back to Lawrence. Why are you going back to him? What is the point? What is the necessity? What is the need? Like, I didn't understand that whole thought process of her going back with him. I know a lot of people are very team Issa and Lawrence together. I know some people are very, like, strong in their relationship and rooting for their relationship, but obviously, I wouldn't be quick to jump his bones if I was Issa, let's just say that. I honestly stopped liking Lawrence's character after he, what he did to Tasha in the first season when he was like, when he had, when they, Tasha, y'all remember her from the bank and all that stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she liked him and he was liking her and then they spent time together. He go to her family reunion and stuff like that. Then leave her at the family reunion. Then we, then we get to the point where she confronts him about it and she like, you know what? You worse than an F boy. You a F boy that think you a good dude. Like, she called it. I think Lawrence really thinks like he's this outstanding guy, and he going and then then he ends up then he ends up having a threesome with two random white girls at a grocery store. Then he get his STD, and now he got somebody pregnant. Lawrence is ratchet. Like, what y'all? How are y'all not seeing that? How are y'all not seeing how ratchet Lawrence is? And then we and then we pop up with Condola pregnant. She was covering that baby bump. It had to have been all of three months. And he talking about you ain't getting no abortion. You keeping it. Oh, it's it's past then. It's long past then. She she can't do that no more. And she's like, well, yeah, I'm keeping it. And you don't have to help me. And you don't have to do all that. And I'm just like, mm. That's not putting him in a tough spot, Condola. You know what I'm saying? You you can't expect this man just to not do nothing for the for the baby that he helped you create. But um, he was like, well, she. He was like, shoot, do you know if it's even mine? Oh, goofy self. Like, yes. He's like, why are you not getting an abortion? And I just feel like Condola, her response to not getting an abortion this time probably had a lot to do with her experiences getting her first abortion with her ex-husband. She probably had a bad experience. She probably like um probably had like a mental breakdown. I don't know because I know some women when they get abortions some of them say that they be having nightmares and the experience is like even more terrible even after the fact of them doing it and completing it and I think like Condola was like she doesn't probably want to have to go through that again so she just decided that she's gonna have this baby she's three months and she's keeping it okay Lawrence and he was looking hurt he was looking hurt you know I kind of feel bad for him but I'm just like And Issa was upset about it. I would have been like, if I was Issa, I would have been like, yo, this is just a sign from God that I don't need to be with him. Like, she should feel happy and blessed that they Okay, sorry, I ran out of space. Um, And I'm on 10% on my camera. So, but just to wrap it all up, I thought this season, I don't know, I lost my train of thought. But anyway, so this season was cool. Gotta wait probably another two years for season five. But, um, yeah. And then we saw at the end that Molly and Issa are, like, talking. And if you could compare that to when they met during brunch and when they met then at the Ethiopian restaurant, there wasn't no smiling, there wasn't no giggling, there wasn't no hugging, there wasn't nothing. They were sitting and getting straight to business. They was talking about what is going on so i was happy i was really happy to see that and i thought mm, maybe they'll either come up with a resolution or just like allow that that friendship to be a chapter of their past but anyway like insecure if you like this review like this review leave a comment no y'all ain't gotta do all that but yeah thanks for watching and see y'all next time